Greetings guys, guys, Sai here and welcome back to Project Left. So today we've reached the letter X in my A to Z roundup and it's going to be quite an interesting one. So let's dive straight into the swing software and let's check it out. So first let's explain the X, and the X is for the xiphoid process, which is of course the cartilaginous section of the lower end of the sternum, which is not attached to any ribs and gradually ossifies during adult life. Basically, a bit of cartilage at the bottom of your sternum. We're going to be talking about sternum. Let's go. Okay, so here we have Dave, who is former PGA professional, very, very good player and a very, very solid motion. Now, we're going to be talking about the sternum otherwise known as the xiphoid process and again it's a bit of a funny name but it has to begin with x so here we go before we get started any of the tips that i say in this video please check it out have a go at it if it doesn't work for you don't worry about it there are no such things as things you have to and don't have to do in the golf swing these are just some observations i have of dave's swing and how it might help your game so firstly, we've got a driver swing on the left and a bunker shot on the right. Obviously, the bunker shot is a fairway bunker shot. There is a bit of a lip, so he's got some loft. I'm guessing that looks a bit like a 9-iron, but he's definitely not going to want to hit the sand first. So leaning back, as you would commonly heard of it, we're going to be talking about the sternum turning backwards away from the target. Now, I've deliberately picked these camera angles because I don't want down the line swing path swing direction, any of those conversations to be happening here. We are just focusing on the xiphoid process or otherwise known as the sternum. And on both of these images, you can see that at setup, Dave is definitely bent forwards in his posture, obviously because the golf ball sits down below him. On the left-hand side, the driver, his intention is that he's gonna to want to be launching the ball upwards and the fairway bunker shot on the right hand side, we're making sure that we hit the ball. We do not want to hit the sand. So his intention and his ideas during these swings are gonna be different. So if we use the swing on the left, first of all, and we then scroll this one through to impact, you can see that as he comes down into impact, there's definitely an intention to get that sternum to be pointing away from the target. You can see as he hits the ball, that sternum is now very much more at this angle, that second yellow line, much more tilted away from the target. Whereas if we come across on the right hand side here, we will see that his sternum is very much more straight. You see he's not so much leaning back on this, he's staying on top of the golf ball and he picks the ball ever so cleanly up and plays a really good shot. He's still rotating through the shot, but it's definitely an intention to be more down on the right hand side much more straight and level rather than far more open and tilted up towards the sky look at the difference in the shoulder tilt between the left hand swing in here and the right hand swing in here obviously you can see they are slightly different camera angles but there's definitely more tilt on the left hand side so the point guys here is not that you have to tilt your sternum away from the target on all driver swings and stay on top of the ball on all bunker shots. Every shot requires a different answer, but it's just having these principles in your mind and have these in your consciousness and take them to the practice ground. You know, let's have a go at these things. Will it help you with, with your intentions to have much more feeling like that sternum is pointing away from the target? as you hit the ball. Let me just grab a line in here. We'll stick with the yellow line. You know, this kind of feeling that the sternum is tilted back away from the target. It's on the right-hand side, you can see, oops, I've scrolled through it far too far forward. Flat fingers, much more on top and covering the ball. It's a very interesting chat about the sternum and its role in the golf swing. And it doesn't matter whether you swing out to in, in to out, over the top, any of these terms you've heard about. This may well help you in terms of identifying your intentions of your rib cage and your rotation through the shot. And if it does help in any way, comment below. Let me know what you think of this. Also, if you don't understand it, let me know in the comments below. I'll happily explain it further. This was just an opportunity with the letter X to chat about something that I regard as intention in the golf swing. So guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow for the letter Y, and that is gonna be all about. See you tomorrow.